industrial complex and uh, the military industrial complex that's op oppressing the Palestinian people. I think it's we, we don't do it enough. But then I wanted to add, how can we um, include um, the middle class white moms who oppose the NRA and who you know are, are fighting for gun control? How how do we understand that these are the same evil incarnate, the, the arms manufacturers that, you know, that are causing toddlers to shoot their mothers at, at Walmart or whatever, places we don't go. Right. <laughs> well, that, that's, it's all part of one system. And I think the person who really laid that out for me first was Norman Finkelstein. He said, look, stop calling this an Israeli, I mean, I knew it was an Israeli lobby, but he said, this is a neoliberal project. And he's right. And we have to fight neoliberalism. I mean, I will not support Bernie Sanders because he abandons the Palestinian people. And I'm just tired of it. I will not abandon the Palestinians. I mean, they are the poorest, most vulnerable, most repressed, most crushed population on the planet who are bombed by one of the most sophisticated militaries which we fund. And I'm not going to play that game. You either stand with all of the oppressed or you stand with none of the oppressed. And uh, we're, I, I'm, we are not at a, at a moment where we can pick and choose anymore which oppressed people are convenient for us to support because the world is devolving too quickly. I mean, look at what's happening in Greece and Europe as I speak. And we, who are infected with imperialism and the chauvinism that comes with imperialism, have to begin to take the kinds of stances that Corbyn takes. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that they will, you know, use everything in their arsenal to take this guy down. But for 30 years, he was a pariah in the political establishment because he actually stood for something. And he had integrity. And... Um, and I think that you're, you're right. It is all interconnected. And, and we have to build solidarity. Palestinian people who care about justice in Palestine have to care about the system of mass incarceration and the evil of white supremacy and the destruction of our working poor. And, the, you know, all of, all of these groups have to come together. And I think they will. Um, you know, the people who care about justice in Palestine have to take a Palestinian flag and march in Ferguson with Black Lives Matter. That's the only way we're going to do it. it. As long as we stay ghettoized, as long as we celebrate a particular form of victimhood, we aren't going to get anywhere. But I think the more those lines are crossed, and I think they are being crossed, the more powerful we become because these are the same forces. You're exactly right. And, and we have to begin to step back and understand these structures of power and how they work.